Facebook hacked, Steam accounts stolen, bank account emptied. Millions of people experience this tragedy every year, and it may surprise you that the reason this happens is because you leave the keys under the doormat. Nickel knows tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nickel knows tech, number one channel with the news on check. When you type your logins on a website to go to Facebook, YouTube, you name it, any online account, your browser is going to conveniently offer to save your logins to the browser. The problem with this is that while it's extremely convenient and I admit I've used it in the past, it's completely unprotected and unencrypted. This means it takes only a matter of seconds for a hacker to get all of your logins because there are very common malware such as Trojan horses which are specifically designed to steal accounts and they always look specifically for those unencrypted files saved by the browser because since they're not protected they can be easily read and translated and sent over the internet. Once the intruder has it, they can wreak havoc on your life. This is how most people get hacked. Now you might be thinking that the best alternative would be to stop saving your passwords. Well, actually, the number one way to mitigate this problem is to simply stop saving your logins to the browser and instead saving all this information you need rapid access to to a secure vault. For that reason, I am going to recommend Passwarden, which you can get right here at the link in the description. It's multi-platform. It works on Apple, Android, iOS, PC, Linux. It works on all the devices so we can keep all this information stored in one place. Right here at the link in the description, you can go ahead and go with the app if you want to do this on your phone. We're going to go ahead and with the uh, Windows version right here, but the, the way to do this is all the same. So we're going to go ahead. We got the standalone version. You can also get it from the Microsoft Store. I already have it installed. During this process, you're going to sign up for an account. You're going to register, and that's going to give you your username and password and your master password. So you have your password for logging into your, your, your account for the website, for billing, all of that. But you have your master password, which is to log into your vault. And I'm going to go ahead and type mine in here. And okay, I'm logged in. And this is going to have all of my logins that I've saved. I export mine from Chrome where they were before and they're all here. If you're using another another uh, type of password keychain or if you're using Firefox, you can easily export all of that to a CSV file and then import it here. Or you can start fresh. But here's all my personal vault. I have all my logins. I'm not gonna show you my passwords because I ain't getting jacked today. We can go over to security dashboard. This is another cool feature. It's gonna tell you how good your passwords are. I'm gonna spend this week getting this here over to the green. And it's gonna tell you how good my passwords are. I have very strong passwords, but I do reuse them. I have some weak passwords for accounts I just don't care about that I just go type it in and get through. But you know, for good practice, I should be able to do this. I should be able to get this over to the green. And speaking of password strength, you're not going to have to come up with some super strong passwords when you start logging in from now on. No, the app's going to do it all for you and I'll show you shortly. But first, we're going to need something. Since we're going to be using our browser and we want our passwords to work in our browser just like they were before when we were using Chrome or Brave or Firefox and whatnot, but we're going to use the password manager. So we need the extension for password. And here's the one on Firefox. You can also look for it through settings and then extensions and add-ons um, in Chrome. And you'll just search for password and it's this one by Keep Solid. And you'll go ahead and add that to the browser. I already have it here. So I'm going to open it. It's this little icon right up there. And I'm going to type in my same master password. Okay. Once I'm logged in, it's essentially the same thing as the standalone app. And, but now it's working in the browser. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my server. If I click right here, it has my login. Go ahead and type that in. And I'm logged in. I'm not going to save it to my browser. In fact, you can even tell the browser to stop asking you. So now I've logged in here. Now, as far as generating passwords, we're going to go ahead and create a dummy account at Yahoo Mail. Create a Yahoo Mail account. All right, here we'll go to Mail. And I don't have a Yahoo Mail account. But I'm going to go ahead and type in Nico Tech blah, 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 NKT. And then for password, I can create a password right here. It's offering me this password. I can generate another one. I can keep refreshing it. And you can kind of tailor it the way you want. I'm going to go ahead and use that password. I don't have to remember it. It's going to automatically be saved by Passwarden. You can go ahead and then continue. And it'll ask me if I want to save it to that account. 
super simple to generate super hard passwords without you having to get creative and then it's automatically saved. It's actually better than using the browser and it's easier than using the browser. Now back in the standalone app, there's a couple of settings that I like to tweak, which I'm gonna share with you. We're gonna go into the settings down here and there's an auto lock feature, which by default, it's checked right here with five minutes. This means that if you're not actively using the password and application, after five minutes, it's gonna lock you out and you're gonna have to enter your master password. You can also do lock on sleep. I like to adjust this to at least 30 minutes um, because I don't like to retype my password all the time. You can also do lock on sleep, but it's automatically, of course, going to lock if you shut down your computer. But for me, I like to have it at 30 minutes or lock on sleep it means that if I walk away from my machine and it goes to sleep, then I have to reopen it. But auto lock is good, especially if you're in an office environment and you walk away from your computer regularly and you're worried that someone might come in and just open uh, password and get all your stuff. So very important that they have this feature. Now there's another feature here which shows me that password really goes above and beyond to protect your security. There's a duress mode. This is to be used if you're being held hostage or otherwise being forced to unlock your vault here. And if you set up this password, this will be a different password from your master one and if you type this one in, it's automatically gonna open up Passwarden in duress mode. Now to the person that has you under duress, they're gonna see that it opened up, but you can pick specific accounts and information that will not be shown in duress mode. It'll look like you opened it up, they'll see a lot of logins and passwords, but they won't have the one you wanna protect, such as maybe your banking information. They might get your Facebook account because they have a gun to your head, but maybe you didn't save your banking information there. You might have really saved it in your normal um, normal vault, but under duress mode, you might have select, you can select that to not show to somebody who has you at gunpoint for example so that's a really cool feature and I don't see myself ever needing that you know some Mission Impossible level security but the fact that they have that that speaks volumes of how far they're willing to go to give you kind of the peace of mind of security of your of your logins and I know there's some of you guys out there that this is extremely vital information it's more than just your Facebook and your emails it might be your livelihood or even your corporate um, secrets so very nice now, towards the beginning of the video, I told you that Chrome and, and all the browsers are not encrypting the data. They're not saving it into an encrypted vault so anybody could read it. Passwarden uses AES-256 as well as ECP-384. These are pretty much uncrackable protocols for encryption. No one's going to be able to crack them and no one really wants to try at this moment. Now, if you're following this video with me, then you actually don't have to pay anything right now. You're on a seven day trial. It's completely free to try out and do everything that we're doing here. Use it, enjoy it, see if it works out for you for seven days. If you like it and you think it's worth it, come back to the link in description and you can get here the one month for $3.99. You can get the one year for $3.33 per month. You can get it billed once a year. You can even get the lifetime for $1.50, which is probably the best value. But just try the trial for now. I want you to be completely happy with the product before taking my recommendation. Obviously, I do recommend it. It's a great product, but you want to see how it works out for you. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Tell me about it in the comments section. And congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time.